you come to study politics if you want to understand how the world hangs together and why it sometimes seems to, to fall apart. The real reason to study politics is to understand the political system and the way society works. I think it's a fascinating subject. It tells us an awful lot about how people interact. And no time like the present could be a better time. I mean, this is, this is the moment of major crisis internationally, particularly major crisis in Ireland. We need to understand how our institutions work and could work better. If you look at a map, Ireland clearly is an island. But the reality is, through Irish history right up to the present, whether you're looking from Viking invasions up to IMF bailouts, from Irish peacekeepers in the Congo to foreign direct investment in, in Cork, say, our lives here and our fortunes here have always been part of, of a global system. And a lot of what we do in our school, it's called the School of Politics and International Relations, is look at how those relationships affect people in Ireland and how those relationships affect people around the world. UCD is the largest politics department in the country. It covers a lot of areas, political theory, international relations. So if you want to study politics in depth, there's no better place to go. We have some of the best academic brains in the country. We have some of the best writings being produced out of this department. There's a colleague of mine, Richard Sinnott, for example, who has published some of the best work internationally on why people vote and how they vote. So we actually have a world-renowned expert teaching the subject. Studying politics, you get to understand how the world works, which is a useful skill in any area of life. But in particular, in terms of the more detailed skills, we try to develop analytical capacities in students, both in understanding arguments and in making arguments. So you learn to examine other people's arguments in politics, both in practical politics, but in historical texts like Aristotle, Mill, Marx, Rousseau, and so forth. But also, I went to Toy Story 3, and I was amazed to find Barbie saying that authority should be based not on the threat of force, but on the consent of the governed, which was a perfect statement for the theorists in the course I teach on Hobbes, Locke and Rousseau, because it turns out that, you know, Barbie isn't a bad political theorist either. People have gone from our school into journalism, into government work, into diplomacy, working for the Department of Foreign Affairs, Irish aid, but in, in many other fields as well that you wouldn't assume are an automatic connection from politics because they come out of here knowing how to think critically, knowing how to analyze, knowing how to research a problem and propose solutions. It was such an important chapter in our history, the first doll, the first doll that met where we are now sitting right now and, and had such hope for the dawning of a new democracy, the, the new Irish system of government and what they would be thinking, uh, you know, where are we 90 years later odd? what a mess we're in right now, we're at rock bottom as a people, and what our political leadership have led us to. I think at the same time it's worth reflecting on, we've been here before, you know, we, we created a system, a very successful system for 90 years, and we can do it again, and I think this is what we now have to do. Yeah.